Today we are doing a video on the best add-ons for Classic WoW Hardcore. Keep in mind these will be my personal favorite add-ons, some of them might be less important to some of you guys, and you might have other suggestions for the best add-ons for you, so if you have any additions to this list, please, please feel free to post them in the comments down below, so we can get all the add-ons out there. Before we get into it, let's do a quick recap on what Classic WoW Hardcore actually is. So Classic Hardcore refers to a challenge currently happening on the Classic Era servers, and there are also rumors of official Hardcore servers coming out at some point. And Hardcore pretty much means your character has one life. Right now on the Classic Era servers there are some additional rules in addition, but on official Hardcore servers many of these rules might end up changing. Just think of Hardcore as one life, and read the other rules on the website. I'm also going to angle this video towards both the current Hardcore challenge happening on Classic Era, as well as potential Hardcore series, which means that for this video I value two things, survival and efficiency. So, add-ons, let's get into it. Number one, the Hardcore add-on, this one is essential and mandatory, especially for the current challenge on Classic Era, and this is how you can both verify your runs, you can see the rules of the, uh, of the actual challenge and pretty much everything. So when you open up this add-on, it will get like a general welcome to Classic Hardcore, and tell you more about the challenge and where to find stuff. This is also where you find all the rules, well most of them, for a list of all of them, you can go to their website and you can also see the Hall of Legends, challenges and everything else on that website, but it gives you a TLDR of everything you need to know by actually having this add-on. So basically, all you need to do to get started is to download the Classic Hardcore add-on, on CurseForge or anywhere else, and you click on the add-on, read it through really quickly, and now you can actually start your run. Now you can also see this is where you verify your run, and currently I have a 99.8% tracked time. Don't worry if this isn't 100%, if you exit the game like I do, it will lose a couple percentage, and that is why mine is on 99.8, so if you want 100% you have to manually log out, then exit from the character screen, but personally, um, I'm, I'm hardwired to actually exit the game, so yeah, there we go. You also have some achievements over here as well, you can see, for, first of all, you can see the level ranges for every single uh, dungeon, so you can see what level you want to be for dungeons as well, and you can see when you got to be what level personally, and when you did what dungeon personally, and you can go to achievements for even further challenges in the challenge itself. This will spice up your gameplay, but also makes it a lot more dangerous. The next add-on that I want to highlight today is called What's Training. This is an add-on that will tell you exactly when you can train which spells at your trainer, and instead of visiting your trainer every time you're heading two levels, like you can train at level 8, level 10, level 12 and so on, you can simply check out what spells you have available, and then make an informed decision on whether or not going to your class trainer is actually worth your time. Especially when playing hardcore, like, and classic WoW generally, there's a lot of spells you can skip while you're leveling up, so having this add-on will save you so many unnecessary trips to your class trainer, and especially as a warlock, I can go there every 4 or 6 levels essentially, and still be fine. Now, this one really just doesn't matter that much in lower levels because you always have a class trainer nearby, but when you start going out at level 30 and 40 and so on, going back to your class trainer is going to be a long trip, so having the ability to know when it's essential to go there is pretty good. Next up, a really good one, Classic Bestiary. This one will tell you all, well, most of the enemy abilities, and you it will tell it to you in the bottom right corner. I believe you can move this, but for now it's basically at the enemy target frame, and in the bottom right corner. This will tell you the enemy abilities, which is really cool to have, like if you're if you're going into a caster, for example, you can see if they have fire abilities, slow abilities, chill abilities, and so on. It will tell you more about the mob itself, and in hardcore, this will literally mean the difference between life and death. As a warlock, you can see which enemies actually are immune to fears as well, and you can see their abilities, if they can fear you back, if they can stun you, and if they can net you. If you're playing a warrior, be on the lookout for any mob that has a net ability. Unless you're playing a gnome and you have a way to escape nets, but that can be super dangerous. So this one right here, absolutely incredible, but it also means that you will have to take the time to check out which, uh, which actual abilities this enemy has before engaging that combat. 
Next up, classic uh, cast boys. This one is really just an um, improvement really, like a quality of life thing, and it will give you a cast bar both for yourself and for enemies and other people in your party if you should so desire. Personally, I only use this one for myself and also for the enemies that I'm targeting, and especially if you're playing a warrior or a rogue, using this one for enemies is absolutely huge. Imagine you're playing a warrior or a rogue, for example, and you're killing a mob that can heal. This can be really tough because if you. They, it, it, it can basically be really tough, but you can kick their heal. And by having this classic cast bars uh, add-on right here, you can min-max that kick. For example, if their heal has a 3 second cast time, you don't want to kick their heal 1 second in. You want to let that cast go as long as possible before you interrupt, that way it will give you some free time to attack the mob as well. So really huge quality of life add-on helps you out with kicks and interrupts massively, so definitely worth checking out. Classic aura durations, this one as well, super 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 cool, super useful once again. It will basically just be a quality of life that will tell you more about the aura duration of your regular aura abilities. Now I do have two other alternatives that you can have for this, and that is weak auras or tell me when. They are more advanced versions I would say, where you can set up pretty much everything you want for both abilities and cooldowns pretty much the same as classic aura and classic aura durations, but you can use it for more abilities and you can have it for cooldowns, trinkets, weapons, items, and pretty much anything you want. It does take some time to set up though, so there we go. One more with no weapon swing timer. If you're playing a hunter, you know what I'm talking about. This one is absolutely massive, but it's really just a quality of life. It will help you out with your minimaxing between both melee and also ranged weapons. And even if you're playing a rogue or a warrior, you can use this one to minimax by using throne, for example, on another target. Even though I'm guessing most people don't do that in hardcore, but still, a quality of life add-on and definitely worth having. Next up for hardcore, you're obviously going to be leveling quite a bit, so having a leveling add-on will definitely help you out. The two leveling add-ons that I personally resort to here are Questy and Rested XP. I do use Rested XP quite a lot, and as long as I have a guide available, I'm usually using Rested XP. Now the good thing about Rested XP is that you can use it from level 1 to level 20 for free, and then if you want to go after level 20 and you're enjoying the add-on, you can then buy further leveling guides on their website, and they have guides specified to Hardcore, and Season of Mastery, and Classic Era, and so on. So they have tailored uh, the guides for Hardcore as well, and they are tailored to your class and your spec and your actual raise, so it will th give you the best optimized route to get all the way to level 60, and by enabling the hardcore functionality, it will help you stay alive and it's definitely worth checking out. The link to Rest XP you can find in the video description right down below. Next up, the 5 second rule. If you're a class using mana, this one is absolutely essential. It will show you the tick down like uh, in that 5 seconds before mana starts regenerating, and it will also show you every time your mana regeneration actually ticks. Super useful, especially for min-maxing and efficiency, and there's not really that much more to say about it. The last one for today, this one is absolutely huge, it's a hidden gem, only had 48 downloads when I checked it out right now, and that is logout skips. This one is absolutely essential if you ask me when it comes to efficiency, especially for hardcore servers or official hardcore servers, or just fresh starts in general. The actual advantage this one gives you can be massive, you can use it to skip a lot of long walks to go back, but I will say this though, this add-on right here is a lot more useful in lower levels, because when you go to level 25, 30, 40 and so on, a lot of the graveyards that you will teleport to will be dangerous, so if you don't know exactly what you're doing and where you're going, I would stay away from using it, but it's definitely worth using in the starting zones. As an example, you can use it right here in the cave in Elwyn Forest at the uh, is it called uh, at, at Goldtooth basically. You can use it right here to teleport right back to Goldshire, which is an absolute absolutely amazing skip that you can use to save a couple of minutes, and this will like put you far ahead of anyone else not using it. So the way this add-on actually works is it gives you a prism on the map itself. 
uh, I think it's called a prism, right? And you have a red X in the middle of it. Now, if you log out anywhere in this prism, it will take you to the red cross inside that prism. And you can see for Elvin Forest, we have a lot of different prisms. And the way to trigger a logout skip is that you need to uh, you need to place your character above your own character's height and then stand on a ledge, if that makes sense. So you basically want to make sure that your character is standing in the air and you want to lift yourself up so much off the ground that you're above your character's current height. That way, when you log out and you log back in, it will teleport you to the graveyard because the game itself is sensing that you're not really standing anywhere. I'm going to show you the logout skip from the actual um, cave once again, so you can see exactly what I'm doing right here, but you just want to make sure you're standing on a ledge on an object that is lifting you off the ground. Pretty easy, once you know exactly how to do it, you can even use it on stairs, in fences if they're big enough, and even on signs, like you can log out on, an, on a sign, if you can somehow jump on top of the sign, so you can do this pretty much anywhere, you just have to be very creative. Either way, that's gonna be the video, bit of a long one, I actually wanted to go through this super quickly, but that is 10 add-ons I believe that you can actually use to improve your hardcore leveling experience, both in terms of survival and efficiency. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and hopefully it helps you out in your hardcore journey. Either way, I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did, please consider dropping a like down below, it really helps out my channel, and I honestly really do appreciate it. For more classic hardcore content, make sure to subscribe as well. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again very soon.